If you're ready to take control of your finances and start budgeting, then keep watching this video. First step is to track your spending for a week. Write down everything you spend money on and look for areas where you can cut back. Don't worry, no judgment here. We've all been guilty of buying that extra latte or those brand new shoes. But trust me, this first step will be well worth it in the long run. And remember, little changes can add up to big savings. Now that you know where your money is going, it's time to set a budget. Determine how much money you have going in and going out. Then set spending limits on different categories. Just like a diet, it's important to have a plan in place and stick with it. Don't forget, budgeting is a work in progress, so don't be afraid to make adjustments as you go. Creating a budget is one thing, sticking to it is another. One way to make sure you stick to your budget is to create a savings plan. Decide how much money you want to save each month and set up automatic transfers to your savings account. It's like having your own personal piggy bank, but better. And who doesn't love saving money? Plus, you'll be one step closer to that vacation you've been dreaming of. Managing your debt is an important part of budgeting. Make a plan to pay off any outstanding debts and avoid taking on new debt. One way to do this is to make extra payments on your credit card bills or loans. It may not be the most exciting thing, but trust me, it's worth it. And when you see that balance go down, you'll be very happy. And just think about how good it will feel to have that weight lift it off your shoulders. Technology can be a helpful tool when budgeting. Consider using budgeting apps or spreadsheets to keep track of your spending and stick to your budget. These apps will give you a clear picture of your spending and can help you make adjustments as needed. Plus, it's like having a financial advisor in your pocket. An important part of budgeting is being mindful of your spending. Try to avoid impulse purchases and instead plan ahead for big expenses. Make a list of things you need and stick to it when you go shopping. And remember, just because it's on sale does not mean that you need it. Another way to stay on budget is to set financial goals for yourself. Whether it's saving for a down payment on a house or paying off your credit card debt, having a goal in mind can help you stay motivated. Break your goals down into smaller manageable steps to make them more achievable. And don't forget to treat yourself when you reach a milestone, within reason of course. The zero-based budgeting method is a great way to make sure all your money is being allocated to a specific category. To implement this method, make sure all of your income minus your expenses equals zero. And if you're feeling fancy, you can even make a budgeting spreadsheet. Another method for budgeting is the 50-30-20 rule. This this method suggests allocating 50% of your income to necessities, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. It's a simple and effective way to keep your spending in check. Budgeting can seem overwhelming, but it's important to remember that it's a process. It may take some time to get the hang of it, but with practice, it will become easier. Start small and make adjustments as needed. And try different budgeting methods to find the one that works best for you. Don't forget, budgeting is a marathon, not a sprint. So take it one step at a time and keep going. And remember, you got this. If you found value in these budgeting tips, don't forget to like it. And don't forget to subscribe for more personal finance everyone understands.